Hey everybody, it's Mark Cabana here, and in this video, I'm going to go over Places Scout's new Keyword Builder feature that allows you to easily configure what keywords in Google Location settings each keyword should be searched from when using the Find Local Clients and Citation Finder modules. So I had a lot of requests for uh, Places Scout to be able to change the uh, Google Location setting in the browser when um, performing searches in the Find Local Clients and Citation Finder modules. And uh, since location is so important in searches these days and it really affects what results are being displayed, I took it upon myself to completely rewrite uh, how you um, configure what keywords in Google location settings these keywords should be searched from uh, when using the uh, Find Local Clients and Citation Finder modules. In previous versions of Places Scout, there was no way to have Places Scout uh, change the Google location setting when using these modules, uh, but I did have this functionality implemented in the Rank Tracker, so um, I had all the underlying code to do it, I just never exposed it to the users. So um, this is pretty much the user interface I came up with that allows you to easily do this now in the uh, Find Local Clients and Citation Finder modules. So the first things you'll see in this new user interface is a box for your keywords, your keyword locations as well as the search term variation types for the above keyword and keyword locations. And I want to explain that the purpose of the uh, keywords, keyword locations box and the search term variations button is simply to build a list of uh, common keywords that people search when uh, using Google for uh, local searches. So if I type in the keyword uh, restaurants here into the uh, keyword box, um, I can hit the tab key which will take me directly to the uh, keyword locations box. Uh, where I'll type in uh, Pittsburgh um, and I use the uh, select search term variations button to say choose the uh, keyword location and location keyword variation types. Um, when I do that uh, in this uh, grid view below um, you're going to see the exact keywords that are going to be searched in Google um, and you can actually expand this grid view to see them uh, fully here. Um, so uh, basically the way this works is uh, depending on what keywords and locations that you enter in the uh, variation types that you select um, you're going to get a preview down here of the uh, keyword that's going to be searched in Google as well as the uh, Google location setting. I'll cover the Google location setting here shortly, um, but if I type in say more keywords, I'll type in say uh, dinner um, and more locations, say Pittsburgh, we'll say Chicago. Uh, what you're going to see is for each of these keywords in each of these locations that you've entered, as well as each of the uh, variation types that you've selected, um, Places Scout is going to um, essentially build these uh, keywords in the uh, keyword search grid below. Um, so what you can do with this uh, keyword, keyword location, and uh, search term variation button is simply build a common list of keywords that people typically search uh, based on the keywords that you've entered in the locations that you've entered, as well as the different uh, search term variation types that you've uh, selected using the uh, select search term variations button here. Before continuing, it's important to understand that the locations that you have entered in the uh, keyword locations box here uh, have nothing to do with the uh, Google location setting that's going to be used for each of these keywords. Rather, Places Scout is simply going to combine these locations with the keywords that you've entered as well as the different variation types that you've selected to build a list of keywords here to be searched uh, when uh, finding the data in this module. It's also important to note that you don't have to use Places Scout's Easy Keyword Builder feature uh, to create a list of keywords to be searched by Places Scout. Um, say, for example, I wanted to just run a raw list of keywords, uh, perhaps ones that I uh, generated using the Keyword Generator module, and I didn't want to split them between uh, different keywords, keyword locations, and uh, variation types. Um, I can easily do this by pasting my raw list of keywords in, uh, leaving the Keyword Locations box blank, and choosing the uh, Keyword Only Search Term Variation Type. So let's do that now. I'm going to delete what I have in the Keyword Locations box, I'm going to delete what I have in the Keywords box, and I'm going to paste a list of keywords in here, and I'm going to choose simply the uh, Keyword Only uh, Search Term Variation Type. And when I do that, in the grid below, um, you're going to see the exact list of keywords that I pasted in the Keywords box uh, appear in the list of keywords that are going to be searched by Places Scout. So this provides you with some flexibility on how to uh, create exactly what keywords should be searched by Places Scout, um, be it you uh, paste a raw list of keywords in and use the uh, keyword only variation type, or you enter in some keywords, uh, some locations to be used with those keywords, and uh, select various uh, variation types for those keyword and locations. 
So I'm going to go back to what I had in here um, just so we can demonstrate how this works. Um, so I'm going to paste the keywords I had, the locations I had, and I'll also choose uh, the keyword location, location keyword. Um, but this time I'm also going to uh, keep the uh, keyword only uh, variation type selected here. And again, I'll see a preview of the exact keywords uh, to be searched by Places Scout, as well as the uh, Google location setting for each keyword, uh, which I'll cover now. So the next button you'll see in this user interface is the button to configure the Google location settings for each of these keywords. Um, basically, what Places Scout can do is it can actually change the uh, Google location setting in the browser to uh, whatever locations you enter in this box here. And I'd like to uh, explain exactly what the Google location setting is, just so everyone's clear on that. So if I open up my browser here and I type in a uh, keyword, it doesn't really matter what it is for now, um, in the SERP results uh, to the left here, you're going to see a location that was populated by Google. Um, this is the uh, Google location setting, and you can see here that Google allows you to change this location setting. If you've never changed the Google location setting before, uh, typically what you're going to see here is uh, the closest town that Google can geocode your IP address to. So typically you're going to see a town that's uh, close to where you live. Now if you're located outside the United States, um, you will see a uh, box that basically says a uh, search near. So if I go to say um, uh, google.ca, uh, Google Canada, and I type in restaurants or whatever, um, you're going to see a search near box. And uh, basically what that means is that there's no location set. So um, Google can really only uh, automatically set this inside the United States. Um, outside the United States, you're going to see a uh, search near button that's going to ask you for a location. But long story short, the importance of the Google location setting is because Google provides different results depending on what location you have set here. Um, so say for example I just type in the keyword restaurants and I don't have a location in my keyword. If I look at the uh, blended results here, um, I'm going to see locations that are in Pittsburgh because uh, Google has my location setting set to Pittsburgh here. Um, say for example I change this to um, uh, Chicago. Um, I'm going to see some different results. I will see results uh, for restaurants in Chicago. Um, so that's the importance of the uh, Google location setting is that depending on what's set there, um, Google is going to provide different results uh, based on the keyword that you have searched for. Going back to Places Scout, I will now cover how you can easily configure Places Scout to change the Google location setting for each of the keywords that you see in the grid view here. Using the Configure Google Location Settings button, you can tell Places Scout to use either the default Google location, and what that means is that Places Scout is not going to change that Google location setting, or you can enter in a list of uh, locations that you would like Places Scout to change the Google location setting to before searching for each of these keywords. So I can type in here uh, Pittsburgh, uh, PA, I could type in uh, Chicago, uh, Illinois. Um, and when I do that, in the grid view below, for each of these keywords you saw, it's going to use each of these uh, Google location setting options that I've selected to build a list of keywords that are to be searched, as well as the Google location setting. And basically what this means is that for this keyword restaurants, that uh, Places Scout is going to change the Google location setting to a Chicago, Illinois, uh, before it searches that keyword to get the results. And since I've uh, chosen multiple Google location settings, I've told Places Scout uh, to use the default location as well as the uh, following Google locations. Um, I'm going to see entries in this grid for uh, each keyword as well as each location setting that I've chosen. So I'm going to have my list of keywords that were built above using the uh, keyword builder as well as uh, the Google location setting for each of those. So I see Chicago, I see the default location, and I see Pittsburgh. So now that I've built my list of keywords, as well as configured what Google location settings each of these keywords should be run from, I want to show you another feature that you can do with this uh, user interface. So say I don't want to run the uh, keywords uh, restaurants and dinner from my default Google location as it's configured now. I can simply uncheck these keywords in the grid view. And you can see they turn red in a little uh, grayish color. And uh, what that means is that we're going to exclude these keywords from the search. Um, so any keywords that I uncheck here uh, will not be searched when gathering data in Places Scout. Other things I can do here is I can actually uh, right click on these results and say uh, copy all selected row data to the clipboard. And what that's going to do is for each uh, keyword you have checked, it's going to copy both the keyword and the uh, Google location setting to the clipboard as you see here. Uh, so if I want to select all of these or you know, I can multi-select and I can right click and say copy all selected row data to clipboard, 
I'm going to get all the keywords as well as their Google location settings. Now, if you don't want the uh, Google location settings to be copied, um, you can simply uh, right click and say copy selected rows uh, keywords. So uh, what that will do is it'll just copy the keywords to the clipboard as you see here. So with Places Scout's new keyword builder feature, uh, you can see how flexible it is in not only uh, building what keywords should be searched, but as well as configuring what Google location settings each of these keywords should be searched using uh, when uh, searching for the keywords uh, when gathering data. One important thing that I do want to note is that whatever um, Google location settings you have uh, entered here, uh, you have to make sure that Google can recognize these locations. So you want to make sure you uh, typically enter these in as your city, comma, state. If I were to do something like this, a uh, Pittsburgh PA, and I'm going to copy this to the clipboard and show you something. Um, and I go to Google and I try to paste in a weird location like that. Um, it's going to say location not recognized. So um, you have to make sure that whatever you enter in place as Scout can be a valid location that will be recognized by Google. Um, so make sure that whatever locations you have uh, entered here, uh, Google can uh, recognize them. And you can easily uh, test that by going to the browser and uh, pasting them in manually. I'm going to cover two other things in this tutorial video, and the first is uh, exactly how Places Scout uses these keywords to provide results. So, um, what Places Scout does is it's going to search each of these keywords you see in the grid below uh, using the uh, specified Google location setting, and it's going to pull um, both uh, blended organic slash seven pack results as well as uh, places results because these are our uh, local business results that have the data necessary to um, gather all the additional data that Places Scout can provide for each result. So for example, uh, we'll choose this uh, keyword um, restaurants with the uh, Google location setting as uh, Pittsburgh PA, which I need to fix that here. Um, and if I go to Google, um, what I'm going to see when I search restaurants and have my Google location setting as Pittsburgh is uh, in the uh, general organic results, I'll see some uh, either blended or seven pack local results. So that's uh, these results here. Um, so these are the results that uh, Places Scout is going to return when gathering data. Um, so it's going to pull these results, and it's also going to go to the uh, Places section of the SERP results. So um, you can click the More button and then uh, click Places here. Now uh, these are going to be your local business results for the keywords that you've entered. Um, so these are the uh, results that Places Scout is going to gather and provide when uh, performing searches in the uh, Find Local Clients in uh, Citation Finder modules with the um, keywords and Google location settings that you've configured. Now for each of these keywords that you have uh, built that appear in the uh, keyword searches grid, um, you can actually configure Places Scout to um, return up to 200 places results for each of these keywords. So if you go to the data filter slash settings tab, there is an option to uh, number of results to gather per search query. So you can uh, change this from anywhere between 10 and 200. Um, I've had some questions as to why it's limited to 200. And I'm going to show that to you. Um, the reason is because, um, so if I go to the places SERP results and I type in this keyword here, um, Google's only going to provide so many results per uh, search query. So uh, down below, you can see this is the first page of results. So if I click next, I'm going to go to page two for this uh, keyword. I'm going to go to page 11 here. I'm going to go to page uh, 20 here. Um, and you can see that Google has pretty much stopped at page 2021. So they're only going to return around 200 results per uh, keyword, sometimes less, sometimes 250 or 150. Um, so that's where that limitation comes in is that Google only really is going to return so many results per keyword. Now, what you can do is you can enter in multiple locations and you can actually enter in a uh, zip codes if you want to narrow it down. So if there's say, uh, 5,000 uh, restaurants in, say, Miami, um, and you type in restaurants Miami, um, you're only going to get about 200 results. So you can actually type in uh, all the zip codes in Miami to uh, get all the results for that particular zip code. Lastly, I'd like to go over how to only get results for a single business. Um, so I'm going to clear out all this data I have in here so far. Um, and if you only want to get uh, results for one business, um, say have this analyze only a single business, um, what you do is you would enter in the uh, business name in the uh, keywords box, uh, then the keyword locations you enter in the phone number. So I'm going to enter in this uh, business Permani Brothers, and then I'm going to enter in their phone number, which is uh, 263-2142. Um, and essentially, um, what, what Places Scout's going to do, I'll just select keyword location here, and I'm going to clear out all my um, uh, Google location settings. So it's only going to search for... Uh, the business name and the phone number that I've uh, entered. So w w when it does that, um, I'll, I'll show you what it's going to do. I'll paste that in. And what happens is that Google is only going to return one single um, places uh, blended result or places result. So um, if you enter in a single business name or multiple business names and uh, uh, phone numbers, if you have multiple, you might want to enter in it 
enter it in as just a keyword and choose the uh, keyword only and then enter in each um, business name and phone number on one line um, is it's only going to get one result for that keyword so that's uh, how you use this um, to uh, only provide uh, results for a single business so that's all for this tutorial video. Um, you can see how powerful uh, Places Scout's new Keyword Builder feature is um, in not only creating what keywords should be searched, uh, but as well as configuring what Google location setting each of those keywords should be searched from. So thank you for taking the time to watch this uh, tutorial video on Places Scout's new Keyword Builder feature, and I hope you find this new feature useful when using Places Scout. Have a great day, and bye now.